Hello, I'm Sven, and today we're going to look at what's new in each BCA community 8.2. The big one we've got for you in this release is new REST API endpoints available. We've added the endpoints that we demoed at the community days in 2023 in September in Stockholm, where we demonstrated the CSR API integration, the CERT manager integration, and the HashCorp vault integration. So those APIs are now officially in 8.2 for you to begin integrating with and taking advantage of. Another feature we added to the REST API and community was the ability to trigger service workers. So as you know, you could configure a service in EGBCA, but you don't really ever know when that service is going to start running. But now we have a REST endpoint that you can trigger the worker whenever you need, so on demand. Another feature we added in was the ability to query the health check. So now you can set up your URL that you query from your F5 or from your monitoring client to hit EGBCA and adjust your query syntax. So if you only want to check a CA or OCSP or maybe just some publishers or the crypto token, you can now configure that query to be able to do that. Due to popular demand from people asking, we did add back the inspect certificate and CSR to the RA web since the public web has been deprecated. You can now upload your CSR or certificate in the RA web and inspect it like you could in the public web. Another one we gave to the community was the subject name log redaction. This gives you the ability to remove the subject DN or the subject alternative name from any of your logging. That way for GDR, GDPR compliance or any data privacy regulations you operate your PKI under, you can now take advantage of that with EGBCA community. And last, to close it out, it's time to say goodbye. We are deprecating the DSA algorithm. It's officially deprecated from 8.2, and you can expect the removal in an upcoming release. So thanks for tuning in to what's new in EGBC 8.2, and we'll see you in the next video.